Okay, so this is one of our um, online escape rooms that they're gonna do in grade three in week two. Um, and they are looking for clues. And so we're gonna see if uh, you can figure out how to get out of this room. So we have a bunch of objects. You can see we have a recliner, an end table, books, couch, rug, random teddy bear on a shelf, <laughs> and a clock. So you just tell me which of these would you like to examine and I will click on it. The clock. Oh, okay. So. How would you like to examine this object? What was so, imagine that you're actually there in person. What would you like to specifically look at about it? We want to see exactly what time it is. Okay, well that's, that's great. As you could see, we could talk about how it's 1.55 because we're five minutes away. What else would you like to do with it? You can um, feel along the outside. Oh yeah. You can try to take it off the wall. See if there's anything behind it. Oh, there's okay. All right, so sure enough, when you take it off the wall, you find a tiny little safe with these numbers and letters on it. Unfortunately, we don't know what code to enter. Right. So we're going to have to come back to that. All right. Back to the main room. Yeah, okay, so let's pick something else that you might want to explore. Let's pick the blue book. Okay, now they will have been learning fiction and nonfiction mm -hmm. this week, and one of the clues that they get right before they come in here is to um, always follow the truth. So, when you have these two books that have two different directions, which one would we want to follow once we figure out what we're supposed to use it for? Uh, the <laughs> Always follow the truth. Which one is a... So, mm. ancient China. Yeah, we want the non-fiction book, right? Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. All right, so we know that something about going backward three, but we're not sure yet. All right, what would you like to examine now? The teddy bear. I was just going to say the teddy bear. <laughs> Okay, well, you pick up the teddy bear, and it is uh, incredibly soft and very fluffy, and when you hold it, it reminds you of sweet memories of being all cuddled up warm in your bed. Otherwise, it's just a plain teddy bear. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it? That's it. Okay, That's back all. to the main room. <laughs> so, let's check the recliner. Okay, how would you like to check the recliner? Can we look under it? You sure can, but you find nothing under it. Okay. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Unrecline it, sit in it. Maybe, maybe check the cushions. Yeah, lift oh, the cushions. So okay, the cushions all right, we're going to check the, one? yeah. So as you feel down in between, you actually find a slip of paper. And it's weird because it's on transparent, almost transparent paper, and it's got these weird symbols, but we have no idea what those mean. Mm -hmm. Okay, but maybe maybe we can find another clue that'll help us. The, the, you want to do the couch cushions, Larry? Mm -hmm. All right, let's check the couch. Oh, okay, so as you check the couch cushions, we realize that I forgot to link it. Can we cut that part? Yep, we'll take that out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> hold on, let me go find it then. <laughs> this is why I usually test things before it. Okay, couch. There we go, that's what you found, okay. All right, so would you like, well, how would you like to examine the end table? Open the drawers. All right, when you open the drawers, you find another sheet of paper. Hmm. hmm, wait a minute. So we have these two sheets of paper with these strange symbols, and they're both kind of transparent. What maybe should we do with those two sheets of paper? Combine them in some way. Oh, all right. So when we combine them, come out very quick, let's see what happens. And sure enough, oh wow, we get this weird, whoa, wait a minute, these almost look like, like they're making letters? Mm -hmm. What's going on here? Okay, so it says U-L-Y-H-U. Well, that doesn't make any sense. It does not. But wait, remember that other clue we had? It said go backward. backward. Three. Okay, so let's think then, if we were to do U and we go backwards three letters. R, okay, so, hey, right, I know, yes, we they would have pen and paper. I need to write these things down. And just to make their lives easier too, there is a hint so that when they go through, uh, we can check and yes, w sure enough, what we get when we unscramble it or when we use our Caesar cipher here, we get the word R-I-V-E-R, -E which spells oh, river. river. So then when we come back here and we type in R-I-V-E-R, -E it's going to open and it gives us another clue. It says the magnetic compass was first mentioned in the year 
around in text around the year 1080 CE in ancient China. Well, they've been learning how to round in math. Mm -hmm. So if we were to round 1080, what would be the nearest thousand? The nearest thousand would be 1000. And there you go. That is the key to get out of the game was the number wow. 1,000. Phew, we did it. <laughs> you did it, you got out. <laughs> I was very afraid. Why the nearest number 2,000? Because it's 1080, it's 1080 so yeah. the, the zero, you round down to mm -hmm. the lower 1,000. If, if it was a 1,500 or above, you would round up to 2,000. Don't you learn this in school? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What school system, Larry? <laughs> 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 Woo, okay. <laughs> I was about to be like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> but it's rounding, rounding to the nearest thousand. So yeah. if it was 1080, that zero, you round down. If it's higher than 1500, you yeah. round up. Yeah. Yep. There we go. So that's that's how we do an online escape room.